Hey everybody, it's Miss Caroline. So for today's science video, I wanted to talk about something that you guys might be seeing if you have been visiting the beach or even just walking around in the park on a sidewalk, and that is pollution. Specifically today, we're gonna to be talking about ocean pollution. So what I wanna talk about first is, what is pollution? So pollution is anything that is introduced into an environment that is harmful to that environment. All right, so I thought the best way to show and explain this to you guys is to actually make a little beach. So what I've done here is I put some sand over here and some light blue water so it looks like the ocean. And I have put things into the environment, the ocean environment, that really shouldn't be there, that's harmful to that environment itself and the animals who live in that environment. So I want you to take a look, if you could pause the video, look around the environment and what do you see that you think maybe shouldn't be in this environment? All right, did you look and see what maybe shouldn't be in our ocean environment? Now that you see, I have my friends Flynn and Rapunzel here and they're gonna help me clean up the beach. So. I'm gonna go around and talk about a few things that maybe shouldn't be in this environment and then I'm gonna use my trusty tongs and remove them into this waste receptacle. So the first thing that I can see, we'll start on the beach over here, is this plastic trash. Now, when we're on the beach and really anywhere you are, littering is not okay. That's why we have garbage cans. So that's the first thing I'm going to pop right off of the beach. Now, the reason we don't want trash on the beach is because it can go right into the ocean and right into our ocean friend's environment. Now, the second thing I see on the beach is this pair of scissors. Who brought scissors to the beach? So we're just gonna put those. Oh, oh got them. And the third thing I see is this long green chain right here. And that's really dangerous because it can hurt someone who's up on the beach who might not see it, might be buried under the sand and they might step on it, but it could also easily wash right into the ocean and get stuck on a turtle's neck. We don't want that. All right, now this is something I see on the beach a lot is bottle caps. And again, that could be dangerous to the people walking on the beach, but it also can get washed right into the ocean. And another thing I see is this cork. Now cork is a natural material, but it does not easily biodegrade. And what biodegrade means is that the earth has an easier time of breaking it down, unlike plastic, whereas it takes years and years and years to break down. Something that's biodegradable doesn't take that long and it's not bad for the environment. But we'll take the cork out anyways. Now I purposefully left some things on the beach that might look a little silly, but they're not technically pollution. So we have a stick right here, and that's okay because that's natural to the environment. We also have some seaweed and some kelp over here, and there's also a little piece of sushi and a piece of pizza. Now, while that is not as bad as plastic or glass or something like that left on the beach, there are other animals in the environment like birds who really shouldn't be eating that kind of food. So we'll get that out of there too. Now our lobster friend right here, he can stay on the beach. He's cool, he's just climbing around on the sand. Now I wanna work into the water part. And that's the part where we see a lot of the trash ends up because it starts on the sand and it goes into the ocean. But another way that pollutants can get into the ocean is through storm drains. So if you were to drop plastic on the sidewalk, when it rains, that will get washed into a storm drain and the storm drains will wash out into the ocean. And that's how a lot of our plastic pollutants and other pollutants get into the ocean. So the first thing I see is that our poor friend Crush over here, I think this is Crush's son, I forget his name. He has plastic wrapped around his neck. So that does happen sometimes where plastic gets wrapped around an animal's neck or even their shell. So what I've seen sometimes is that those plastic rings that come on soda cans, that gets wrapped around their shell and it can start to squeeze and deform their shell. And we want our animal friends that are in the ocean to live long and happy lives. So that's why we wanna keep our oceans clean. So we got that off his neck. Now Dory here, 
She has a rubber band on her neck, so we want to make sure we take that off. That is not natural to her environment. What else is in here? Oh, there's a little tire over here. We definitely don't want that in the ocean. Now, this is something you see a lot, is this type of plastic floating around in the ocean. Uh oh, there's a twisted tire right here. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about, is if the rubber band or any of the trash gets wrapped around one of our sea animals, that could be really dangerous to them. Just take that off our manatee and pop them right back in the ocean. So take a look, see all the trash that we picked out of the beach, both on the sand and in the water. And think about it, when this is multiplied to an actual beach instead of just my little one, there's a lot more trash and pollutants. So now I'm sure you're wanting to know, what can I do to help reduce pollution in the ocean environments and just our everyday environments? So one of the things you can do is cut down on the use of plastic. So whether if that's switching from plastic sandwich or snack baggies to reusable ones, using a tin water bottle or an aluminum water bottle rather than drinking out of a hundred plastic water bottles. There's little things you can do every day to switch over to a less plastic life. Another thing is to recycle as often as possible and don't drop litter. If you have trash or recyclables, make sure they go where they're supposed to go and keep our earth as clean as you can. Now, some of the most common things that are found on beaches are plastic straws, plastic bags, plastic cups, bottles, plastic lids, food wrappers and containers, as well as glass and aluminum cans and bottles. So if you are wanting to do a community cleanup or a park pickup, or if you happen to be at the beach and want to do a little bit of a beach cleanup, just make sure you're being safe by wearing gloves, wearing a mask, and if you don't want to pick up the trash with your hands, you can also use the little claw grabbers to pick them up. But make sure you're being safe and the environment will thank you for keeping it clean. See you guys soon. Bye.